How are you? Shannon's ready. I have nothing more to say. Uh, no, 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 no. Do, that. do what you normally do. Every morning, Skip. This show belongs to Shannon Sharp. This season, this whole season belongs to no, Shannon no, Sharp. No, no, no. Undisputed now belongs to no, Shannon no. I Sharp. I, I can't believe it. those words are coming out of my mouth, it. but they are. I don't want it. I don't it want is it. over. I want to see you do this yeah. right here. Just do this for I, one I just, time. I just did one little one. You are watching no, no, because you were so self-absorbed. No, 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 you didn't see it. No, do a big I one. Did, no, I did one little one. No, no, and that's no, no, all no. you're going to get today because that's all today deserves is one little tap of my nose. Oh, so this is all you get right here? Yeah. That's all you get. <laughs> but I did it. I did it. I did one Nobody tiny saw it. one. Nobody yeah, saw everybody it. Saw it. <laughs> everybody saw it. The world saw it because they are actually watching me instead of you. <laughs> They're about to watch yes. me, though. They're about uh, to watch me, though. I, I think not. Yeah, they're, they're, about about watch me. they're about to watch me. Uh, we have a packed show today, as you can tell. Emotions running high. <laughs> Will the Niners' defense be able to slow down Lamar Jackson in that electric offense? Plus, how is Tom Brady going to handle even more adversity? But first, you already know what we're talking about. Every angle of the Cowboys lost to go over. Dallas has now dropped two in a row and fallen to six and nine on the season. After the Bills carved up the Cowboys 26 to 15, emotional players could be heard screaming inside the Cowboys locker room. According to Dak Prescott, that was defensive end Michael Bennett yelling words of encouragement to the team. Then a teary Jerry Jones had a ton to say after the game, talking to the media for more than 25 minutes. Despite Jerry being highly critical of his coaching staff earlier in the week, after yesterday's defeat, he was standing firmly behind Jason Garrett and says he still has a lot of hope moving forward. Take a listen. I know Jason very well. I've had a wonderful opportunity to spend a football life with him. So I know him very well. And uh, you know, without a doubt, you've seen it. Nobody is uh, wants Jason, wants it to go. Uh, and I'm going to tell you this right now, he's got my back too. I agree it's outside. Right. Okay. But if we do that and win it one by one, we've got a chance to be in the right side of the uh, playoff call. I've been told all my life, uh, adversity gives you an opportunity to really write a hell of a story about how to come back. Uh, we've given our chance the best foundation to turn around and have a great story. Cowboys at 506 and 6. Mm. Surprise and Shannon, what's your reaction to all of this? Surprise, they ain't <clears throat> They're not worse. Uh, I, I, hold on, wait a minute. What is all this yelling and screaming for after the game? You had 60 minutes to put your foot on somebody's throat. You had 60 minutes to yell and scream. And you wait till you get to the locker room? Why are you yelling and screaming at me? Mm. Buffalo needed that. Mm. They needed that energy. They needed that passion. And now you want to come in here and everybody tough. Mm. Jerry crying. There ain't no crying in football. Mm. What you crying about? I want to take what he said last first. Mm -hmm. He said he was always taught about adversity. Jerry, you do terrible in adversity. You lose one, you lose to the one lost Patriots. You want to fire the head coach. Yep. You get beat on Thanksgiving in your building. Mm. And now you give the coach a vote of confidence. Mm. You see, Skip, look, when things start to go sideways, Jerry goes sideways with it. Skip, I told you, and I said this the other day, he's more fan than what we call a true owner. Because true owners doesn't ride the wave. The, you know it's going to be ebbs and flow during the season. There's going to be highs, and when it's high, Jerry's at the top of the wave. We're going to the Super Bowl. But when they low, I got too much talent. I put too much into this for me to worry about this. What? No, 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 no. Skip, it's not. The press conferences that Jerry uses, Skip, those are his therapy sessions. Because this is his opportunity to vent, to get exactly what he's thinking off his chest. And the longer you talk, I've never heard in all my life, and been around it for a long time, the owner... Speak for 25 minutes after the game. That was his session, but it's free. See, normally you go speak to get on somebody's couch and talk that low. You got to pay for that, Skip. Mm. Jerry gets to do this every, after every game. Hey, and don't forget, he had already just spoken indoors, behind closed doors to the team. Right. Okay, so you don't hear that either. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we, but this is his therapy session that he gets an opportunity to vent. He gets an opportunity to share what's going on and what his thought process is. But here's the thing, Skip. You know this. The longer you talk, the more likely you to have a slip up. And I think last week, the more he talked, the more he's like, 
the coaches are under my pre pre uh, preview, purvy. Mm -hmm. uh, I can fire, I can hire, do all this. He said some things, and that's why he backtracked and said what he said yesterday. Because it's hard for me to believe that you want to fire Jason Garrett after losing to the Patriots. Ain't no shame in losing to the Patriots. No matter what you think, out coached or whatever, there's no shame in losing to them. But you lost to Buffalo at home, and then you're like, he got, I got his back, he got mine. I'm, I'm surprised that Jerry does this all the time, Skip, because Jerry's been in this. He brought the team in what year, Skip? 88, 89? Nine. 89. So 30 years, Jerry has been the owner of the Dallas Cowboys. So 30 years, he understands they're going to be good, they're going to be bad. But you, what you really don't do is that you don't ride that. Fans do this. I'm done with the Cowboys. Skip Bayless does this. Zeke has a bad game, throws his jersey in the trash. Zeke eats again, he digs the jersey out of the trash, and he puts it on. That's Skip Bayless. By the way, the jersey is still in the trash. No, no, no. You, yeah. you need to throw that boy in the trash. Mm -hmm. That's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. But we're going to talk about him a little later, Skip mm -hmm. Bayless. I'm not surprised uh, Jason Garrett is safe, even though when it came out yesterday, if he lose to Buffalo, he could be fired on Friday. I said, Jason's not going anywhere because he's too emotionally connected to, to uh, Jason. Skip, he wasn't emotionally connected to Wade Phillips. He didn't grow Wade Jason came up in that organization. He was the backup to Troy when they were winning Super Bowls. And he views him differently than he viewed any other coach because he really looks at him like a, a fourth child. He got, you know, he got biological kids, but... The closest he came, Jason Garrett is it. That so is true. I, I knew Jason Garrett was not going anywhere. Jared, Skip, you, you say things that during a motion, you get angry, you get upset, mm -hmm. you might say things. You're like, why did I say that? And that's why they always tell the players, take 30 minutes after the game, decompress before you go to the microphone. But Jared don't heed that advice, Skip. The moment he walks down up at that box and he got that security detail, detail with him, he goes straight to a podium and you can start talking. It's not even a podium. He just lets everybody surround him, uh, yeah, and he yeah. just gushes. Yeah, he wait. You know? Is everybody here? He wait. Everybody, he looking right. Yep. Everybody, you, you right? Okay. Here and, we he go. and he starts going. Yep. So, Skip, I'm not surprised. And Jerry's right. Everything they have that they need to, to accomplish, win the division, you got a home game, anything mm -hmm. can happen. But I said this at the beginning, Skip. I didn't feel the Cowboys were going to make the playoffs because I didn't think they were going to win the division. I still believe the Eagles will. And because of what transpired, you got two teams that are not – uh, the Packers and the uh, Vikes are 8-3 and three in the same division. And you got a 10, what, a 10-1 and one and a 9-2 and two team. You're just wasting your breath on that. Go on. So, Next point. Yeah, it's division or bust, obviously. Uh, no, you yeah. bust. Yeah. You went belly up mm -hmm. yesterday. Okay. And stop. Hey, can you do me a favor? I, you, I, I'm not no, doing no, I haven't even spoken no, yet. I want you to do me a favor. Will you tweet? Can you add me so people can stop sending me your tweets? Would you do me a favor and quit reading what people are saying to you during the game? No, they're not saying that. letting them shape your opinion. How do you shape my opinion? That's I, what I don't read any of that. No, I don't care. But you listen I don't to care the, what you but tweet. You listen to the I don't so care about anything. You listen to the sound, mm. and they shape what you think of Dak Prescott. No, they do Yeah, not. yeah, dude. That's why you listen to the sound. So you're saying Tony Romo over-defended Dak Prescott yesterday? There was not, I, there, I don't think you so. You can't defend the indefensible, mm. oh. but somehow you find a way to. Mm. Tell me when you're finished. Take it away. My turn. Just quick points of order about Mr. Sharp across the table. Once again, you were really wrong about your Cowboy pick because you picked the Buffalo Bills to lose hugely yesterday mm -hmm. to the Cowboys. Yep. 31 to 17, just as you picked the Cowboys to win at New England the previous week. But your logic yesterday, you told me, quote unquote, on yesterday's show that the Buffalo Bills are even bigger frauds than the Dallas Cowboys. And I was sad. Even bigger I was, frauds. I was gr gravely mistaken. Mm, gravely. Really wrong. But you know what, Skip? Unlike Jerry, I'm not going to cry about being wrong about this one. I said, I'm actually, I'm happy. The 9-3 and three Buffalo Bills are clearly way better in every way, shape, or form than the Dallas Cowboys, including coaching, which I will oh, get to in just goodness. a moment. Now, I told you yesterday sitting right in this chair, that that game against the Buffalo Bills was make or break for my 2019 Dallas Cowboys. This would be the defining moment. And I believe yesterday completely broke my football team. I believe that this team has become a talented but broken football team that has lost its confidence, lost its mojo, lost whatever little momentum it had off those easy early season victories over, as you said, bad football teams. Yes. And has, has ultimately just lost its winning edge and its way. This team no longer has lots of plays. 
but can't make the plays, the winning plays. Meaningless plays. The me you can say meaningless. I will give you that. But I was very wrong about the 2019 Dallas Cowboys. They are not going to win the division. They are not going to the playoffs. They are done, D-O-N-E, done what? after yesterday. What? Yesterday was the worst loss of the year. It was even worse to me than the Green Bay loss in which they fell behind 31 to three at home, worse than the but Jets. did roar back. This was the worst loss because this was the first time they just got their asses kicked at home. What? They got them kicked at home because they gave up after a roaring to a 7 nothing lead, as I predicted. Get up to the they, great start they will that you just wanted. roar out of the gate. Yes. And then they looked around and said, are we there yet? Is that enough? Does that do it? Did we just make the play? No, you didn't make the playoffs because that team over there is resilient and tough mentally and physically. And here came the Bills, and there went Dallas because Buffalo scored 26 unanswered points. Mm. That was the worst loss because they just flat out lost that game. It's indefensible from start to finish. So I'm here to tell you this team has so lost its way that there is no way it's going to go a week from last night to Chicago and win that game against the Bears, who I watched beat the Lions. Barely, but they beat them. Right. They're not going to win that game. They're not going to come home and beat the Rams at home, even though the Rams are struggling, you can argue, even more than the Cowboys are. That's correct. But some